Hi Richard, Mihalina here. I have your Safona here with me and I will show you how it sounds in just a second. Before I start, I have to tell you that for the transport for safety reasons, we will loosen up all the strings on your instrument and you will have to tune it by yourself when it arrives, but it's not difficult. And in this video, I will tell you exactly which string is supposed to be tuned to which note. And also we will take off the crank for the treble. So here's how it works. When you hold the wheel on the sides like this, and you start turning the crank towards yourself, you can take it off. So then it when it arrives, you just have to put it back on and while holding the wheel again, start turning forward, make sure that it holds and you're ready to go. Always make sure that you hold the wheel on the sides and you are not touching the surface up here because we have a layer of rose in here, right? So our fingers are oily and if you touch it then you will leave your fingerprint on it and it's going to be audible in the sound. So if that happens, if you touch the wheel, um, you can either reapply the rosin and hopefully it will even out the surface or you have to take some alcohol, very strong alcohol, 98% isopropyl alcohol where it works well for that. You put it on a cloth and uh, the cloth should be uh, cotton or just lint free in general and then the cloth with the alcohol you put it to the wheel start turning and this way you can clean the wheel and then um, you have to reapply the rosin and you're good to go so in general it's just easier and better to avoid touching the surface here altogether only on the sides like this Okay, so now um, I can play on all the strings separately for you. So I will start with the lowest melody string that is here. So this is a C3. Then we have the G3 here. Then we have the C for this one. And then we have the G4, the highest melody string. Then we have the trumpets. So first of all, the highest trumpet is a C4. And we have two capos on it, so first one is from C to D. And from D to E. Then we have the trumpet in the middle. This is a G3. Capo to A and B. And the last one is a this is an E capo. So this is sorry, this is an E string. Can also tune it to E flat. So now it's in uh, now it's an E flat, and now it's an E. So if you want to play a chord with your trumpets, you can do it. You can either play a major chord or a minor chord. And then we have the drones. So first of all, we have the lowest drone of the whole instrument. This is the C2. And we have one couple on it to D. Then we have the one in the middle, this is a C3. So this is the same string as the melody string. And it can create quite a cool effect when you play them together. 
Um, we have one capo on this string from C3 to D3. And then we have the G drone that we can tune up to A or B. And I will play something on uh, all the G strings now, so I will leave this D drone, B drone, sorry, it's a G, <laughs> so G drone on the wheel. And I will add my uh, melody strings. Something with the C strings, so I will put the C drone, so the C2 drone on the wheel, the C string, the other C string, and the trumpet. This is your Hurdy Gurdy. I hope you liked the presentation and that you will enjoy your new instrument. We will send you all the details regarding the shipping in the email and for now I wish you a great day. Take care, bye bye!